back to my channel and if it's your first time here welcome my name's Simone today I'm doing another food haul Friday so I'm going to be showing you all of the food that we've got for this week for a family of five and at the end I will put timestamps down below anyway to show you hopefully meals for the week including breakfast lunch dinner and snacks I take photos throughout the week and then I add them before the next food shop comes um, also I'm going to be making well I've made the video and I'm going to be uploading it next week and it's on meal planning and why I do it and the benefits that we've had from it including saving time saving money less stress and also I'm able to plan out like more nourishing meals for the family and we're less likely to have takeaways and things like that so if you're interested in that type of video then if you can check that your bell icons on for all videos so every time I upload you'll be notified when I make a new video so I'm going to get into this video now um, I hope you really like it and if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel today we're doing a Tesco shop for a family of five and this week we have spent £129 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with all the like plant based items over here and then we've got a few other meat items over there as well thanks to all of the new subscribers <laughs> that's Micah so I'm just going to start with some of the non-food items and I've got some other things over there as well so I've got this Silic Bang I've done a review of this I find that it's really good for getting rid of black mould um, Tesco non-bio for washing the clothes and then we've got this pure cotton sensitive skin Tesco zone brand fabric conditioner um, and then we've got a washing up liquid so Ryan went and got all this shot. We're still in lockdown. And then we've got this local plain flower because like Ryan likes to make um, wraps. And then we've got frozen strawberries and blueberries, pretty cherries, and also blueberries. This is for porridge. Um, we've got some of these British Petit Pois peas. These mini spring rolls, which are vegan. Um, We've got a big pack of Tesco's own spaghetti. Ryan said they'd run out of peppers and all the different vegetables. So we've got sliced mixed peppers. Um, this is Ryan's toothpaste, charcoal white. And then he's got some Colombian um, coffee for the coffee maker for himself. We've got a red cabbage. And then we've got a leek, um, two leeks. I think we'll probably make some soups with them courgettes and two packets of satsumas for the kids. Ryan likes to have hot water and lemon in the morning and we like to squirt some of this on potatoes when we're making like wages in the oven. Two bags of red onions and we've got um, a cauliflower and a big massive bag of bananas. The kids go through them really quickly. We've got two packs of carrots. We usually put carrots in everything or the kids like eating them raw with hummus. And then we've got two bags of these all around the potatoes. I think they were less than a pound each and there's 2.5 kg, so that's a bargain. We've got this sweet gem lettuce and two um, avocados, um, ripe and ready ones. And then there's another bag, is, bag there as well because the kids really love avocados. Shiitake mushrooms. Um, I'm hoping mine's got me some cream because I wanted to make some creamy mushrooms again. And then I think these were the only tomatoes that they had left, fresh tomatoes. Um, he's got this coffee as well. This is an instant one in case he's not making one in the machine. And then we've got this, I really love it, um, chocolate oat milk. I've got a review of that. I'll put it above if you want to check it out. Um, it's really nice for making hot chocolates with this vegan whipped cream. This vegan whipped cream is just so amazing. And then we've got the own brand oat milk. This is only 95p. So we've got four of them. And then these are... I'd say that these are really good for using in the coffee maker, you know, to froth up your milk if you're making like cappuccinos or lattes. We've got this dark um, chocolate here um, for baking and then chopped in tomatoes. Um, we've got three tins of them, there's some, more, um, some other ones over there. Um, coconut oil for skin, for cooking, for our hair. Um, two tofus for me and then we've got the kids this I think this is yeah it is it's gluten free this um, this almond um, dime cake and then we've got potato waffles we've not had them in ages have we neither um, and then we've got this haddock four battered haddocks 
yeah Ryan got me the cream so this is the whippable oatly cream so you can have it on um, like with puddings um, but like I was saying I like to um, make like get some garlic some herbs and put it with these mushrooms it's really nice we've got some maple syrup here and then Ryan's got these veggie stock pots uh, stock it's not quite words out stock pots um, for me to be able to make like soups and also use it like as a base for some meals. And then these were two for two pounds, so we've got four hummuses because, like I said, the kids they can just go for a pot in a day easily. And then we've got two, I think Ryan got me two um, jars of olives because the kids really love them as well. We've got a vegan Heinz mayo and a tomato ketchup and then we've got some salted butter for the family and a big massive block of cheese oh I'm nearly dropping everything um yeah a big massive block of mature cheddar and then we've got two packs of eggs um so there's 24 eggs in there and then we've got these these are so nice they're vanilla Al Pro vegan yogurt, so really, really tasty. They kind of taste like ice cream, I'd say. We've got some of this um, Demerara sugar for um, baking, and then oh, this is new. It's a creamy oat spread, so I thought I could maybe give the kids this. Um, but also, I saw like a thing on Instagram, but I've not got all of the ingredients. It's to kind of make some like biscoff, um, like. You put, you get like a stick, and you make like um, a creamy kind of vegan cheesecake thing in the middle of it, and it looks so nice. So I thought maybe I could make something like a pudding with this. And then we've got the other tins of tomatoes here, big massive bag of oats because we have porridge most mornings. And then here's some cornflakes. We've got some toilet roll, pack of nappies, and then I got this. I really like this. If I'm running out of milk, you can put in, um, I think it's half a pack of this, so 100 grams, and then you put 400 mils of water, and it actually makes like coconut milk, so I think it's really good. But I like to use this in my lentil dal and in curries as well. It's just really useful to have. And then Ryan got this paprika and onion chicken seasoning, um, black pepper, uh, extra virgin olive oil and some wipes and then we've got two chickens as well and um, so usually they'll have one um, on half on one day and half the next Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on